not only our prophet, but every prophet came, and all those that they were around him, they suffered with those prophets. But their life was very good again. Difficulties, they were living with difficulties, but they were saying, thank you, Arab. Thank you for the blessings that you've given to us. It was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was making it easier for them. Remember Ayyub alayhi salam, how much he suffered. He never complained. Today, 24 hours a day complain. People of 21st century, daytime, nighttime, 24 hours a day. So why are you complaining? What is right that you're doing and you complain? Show one right thing that you're doing and you're complaining. At least stop complaining and say, this, this, this has reached to me because of my arrogancy, because of my stubbornness. Ya Rabbi, make it easy for me. Remove these things from me. This arrogance, this ego is fooling me. Okay. No. You're not accepting. That means you're not asking help from your Lord. And Allah sending help to you from every side. But it's still, you're not accepting because your ego is standing in front of you, saying, you are right, there is nothing else. Nobody can be right except you. That's what happened. That's what is happening. That's what is happening to today's people, 21st century. And any crime that they do, they are finding excuse. I did this because of this, and I did this because of that. But your reason of creation is not that. So you forgot the original promise that you make to your Lord. That's why you are in that situation. If you keep that alive, you're going to know that uh, this incident has reached to me. I did something down in the road, yes. Even when you are a small child and you are walking without realizing, you're not seeing and you're just stepping at one end, and you're crushing that end. That is going to reach to you one day in your life. You're going to pay price for that. Maybe one headache. If you are connected with your Lord, you're going to know why things are happening to you. You're going to remember. They're going to remind you. Your heart is going to speak to you. You remember you did this, this, this time. This is a favor to you. Allah is cleaning you from that action that you did. That time you're not going to complain. You're going to say, thank you, Ya Rabbi. That great wrong thing that I did, you are making me to go through a very simple punishment in this world. How can I thank for your favor? That's what you're going to say. You're not going to complain. That time. So if you are complaining, you are double wrong now. Which... And I said, which one is not complaining? In this case? 24 hours, not 12. 24 hours from their children. From their... Why are you complaining about your children? Don't you know that you are the first one who is guilty for them being wrong? Oh, I love my child. Yeah, that's not how you love. Give them whatever they want. And yeah, that's not the love. That's not the love that Allah and His Prophet have taught us. It's not. So, non-stop 21st century people doing wrong because shaitan is very happy because now saying you reach to the complete end. I may pull all this and all of them, they may go with me to the fire. This is what is his aim is. And if you are getting pulled by that one, nothing can save you that time. The favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reaching to you now. You want to be arrogant and stubborn more. Okay. How much are you going to be until tomorrow maybe? When Israel is coming, you're not going to. Last breath of life, just they ask Nuh alayhi salam. Somebody has seen Nuh alayhi salam in the dream. And saying to him, tell me about this life. You live 1,000 years. Tell me something about it. That 1,000 years. Because the world is just like 
uh, Han, I entered through one door, and I just went out from the other, out. Thousand years just became like one split second, finished. Not thousand, if you have ten thousand years, still gonna come to the end. Time, it's counting. So, what people don't know they did, they rise against to him. Why they rise against to him? He said to them, live like human. This is not how Allah wants. This is your ego. Shaitan is fooling you. Turn this way and live the way that Allah wants you. They rise against you. They attack him. Every time he was praying for them, saying, Ya Rabbi, forgive them. And nothing is happening to that nation. Going back to them, but he is a prophet. He knows. Inside of him is bothering him a lot. And Reaching back to them, crying for them, those people that they are attacking him, they are cursing at him, they are doing so many bad things to him, he's going back to them, saying, please, leave this. This is no good for you. You're going to be severely punished for this. Stop this. When you come in again, they are attacking again. They are cursing at him again. They are doing so many evil things to him again. He's going back, coming again. His heart is not accepted. Until one day he was fed up with everything. Punishment has not reached to those people. It is not because of them. It's because of Nuh Aleyhisselam. He was beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah was looking at that one. What is it that you want, my servant? Not what they want. What is it that you want? He was saying, Ya Rabbi, forgive them. They don't know any better. And open their way and give me more wisdom to reach to them. He goes next to them again. Shaitan is killing the other ones up against him. And they are attacking him again. And again and again. And they all right. Who's wrong? Nuh is wrong. He's going back to them, crying for them. So you are wrong. Until one day he was fed up with all this. And opened his hand and saying, Ya Rabbi, do not leave one who is disobedient to you on the face of it. Instantly he is quite accepted. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him order, saying, Now build this ship. I'm going to punish them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is still giving them time for them to realize, to understand. No, they are looking at for foolishness here and there, saying how water is going to reach here, how they are using their own empty head, which 21st century is big sickness of people, that they have nothing up there, and they are using it. So they become a complete partner with Shaitan. And they're not listening again. Nuh salam inside is bothering, is crying. I know what I did. There is no way to, to return. This one's they going they all going to be punished. They're all going to be perished. And he's still calling them. He's building the ship, he's calling them, saying to them, I know what I did. I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted what I say. And the punishment is going to reach to you. Stop this. They pass their limits until the last minute. Premish, permission is given to Nuh salam until last. And when they pull everybody to the ship, pull the stuff. They came to the ship, still people outside, they not entering, saying to them, this is your safety. You didn't listen to me up till now, at least now enter. You still find safety. And, of course, he knows. He's crying inside, saying, I still have permission to call them. But, order has reached to him, saying to him, now, no more calling. Shut the doors. 
and that's exactly what he did. He burned the door. He closed the doors, and all those people vanish and perish. Now, 21st century people. So many signs. But if you are blind, you're not going to see. Signs happening 24 hours a day. And the signs of Mehdi is appearing every sign right now. Everywhere is appearing. He is about to come out. And for him coming out, before that is going to be punishment. Before he's going to be perishing. So many is going to go. So turn around. Ask forgiveness. Be with the good ones. Don't be with your ego. Being with your ego is being with your shaitan. Your shaitan is going to fool you. You are not clever than the shaitan. Shaitan has fooled Adam a.s. Who are you to think that you are not going to get fooled? Shaitan knows all books. So, wake up to yourself. Turn around. Ask forgiveness. We are watching the activities in the world, especially in this country, in these days, is not too good. I am watching, and so many people who did crime is still insisting that they did right. So many people, they are about to pay price what they did wrong, and it's still those ones, they are declaring that they are the right ones. So, is not changing. Same thing is circling around. Save yourself. Save yourself from that big fire that is coming. The flood of fire is coming. Sinners, they want freedom, everyone, but taking that air in, the whole body is going to turn into not even a skeleton. And atomic energy is going to sweep up everywhere. So many saying to me, Sheikh, you're not saying anything to people to give them hope. This is hope. It is impossible to escape from that. Impossible to escape what they have prepared that is coming. And only way to escape from that, you have to run to the safe areas. You have to run to the holy ones. You have to listen, hear, and obey them. There is no other way. There is no other way. If you are not doing it, you may be in that fire. So, these words are for you and for me. Our Granshe is saying the same thing. All those holy people, uh, they, have met, they have news from the heavenly stations. That's what they're going to say. If they are saying to you something else, they have no connection with the heaven. They have no wisdom, no vision to see. They're only talking nonsense. So, no government is going to stop this. They cannot stop it. They're all going to be involved in it. They prepare and it's going to happen. Holy Prophet said it's going to happen. It's going to happen. This is what the world is preparing. And as our Grand Sheikh is saying, we don't know what this Rajab, the month of Allah, is bringing. It's not, it's going to bring so many different changes. And those changes is leading that to big Armageddon, that the whole books, holy books are speaking about it. The whole world, all people, they're going to enter into that. They're preparing to that. They prepare. They are ready. They stay out from it. He's going to pull everybody who's arrogant and stubborn, who's not listening and obeying their Lord, is going to pull them. In. There is no escaping from that. So, we came to this world Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent us to this world to know him and to worship him. If we are not doing that, definitely we are not going to find the happiness